Hey guys, real quick, something that I want to share with you all today is um, making sure that you're not mixing God in with all the little things that you may be reading or conspiracy theories and things like that. Um, it's easy to, it's not that, <clears throat> it's not that what you're saying or certain things that you read isn't true. But you have to make sure that you don't go too far over in certain things because you'll find yourself watching more than news, watching more TV, researching, reading books than you are actually in the word of God to get truth and revelation. So you will find that you will be on one side just talking about, you've been speaking from an earthly wisdom than from a godly wisdom. You'll be talking about everything that you've seen on television, what the news said, whatever, what you read, this other thing that you researched, this other book that you checked out, this other website that you looked at, and they agree with what you say, and it's true, and you find yourself going all out into a whole different realm, and then you'll throw some, you, you'll put some of God in it. So a way to know and to detect where you're at is how much time look at the ratios how much time are you spending in the word of god in god's presence and how much time do you spend doing other things to include watching the news watching what's going on going on other website reading a bunch of little things about you know what the government's trying to do and what this what's the ratio because I'm going to tell you that if you have more, you're going to different things and you got like there's it's 60, 60 and 40 word, you're going to go wrong. You're going to get it mixed up. What is before your eyes most of the times? Because it's very easy to go off into worldly wisdom, worldly knowledge, a wisdom that's not of God, even though what you're saying is legitimate. And you may find that, yes, this thing is a conspiracy and this thing is being set up to do this. You can't get too far on that side of it. You have to be more in the word of God and in the word of God and listening to God's voice. Because guys, all you're going to be is a glorified journalist, a glorified paparazzi. But you will find that you have all this knowledge and all this information and very little power and very little knowledge and very little discernment for what to do. What you want to do is be filled with the word of God, be filled with his presence and his power. So even when you look at certain things, there are certain things the Holy Spirit will tell you, you don't need to look too much at this. He'll show you what you need to look at. You'll be able to look at it, but through the power of the Holy Spirit, hear it and see it from the Holy Spirit perspective. And then you'll know, okay, I need to turn this off now, or I need to get off of this now. I need to get in my word. You see, I don't know if this is making sense to anybody, but be very careful. It's in my spirit to tell you because there are a lot of Christians that you're just watching CNN all day long and you are getting caught up in what the world is doing and you have about 10% word. You watch, do the ratio of how much CNN and how much time you spend in your word. How much CNN or whatever you watch. You may watch uh, Fox News. Some of you watch MSNBC. Whatever it is. Whatever your medium. How much of that versus how much prayer. How much of that versus how much time in the presence of the Lord. Guys, some of you may say, well, I can't. You have a hard time praying that much. It's because you're full of something else. So listen. Ask the Lord to help you. This is not the time, y'all. You may be looking at something legitimate, but if you are not being led by God, you're going to mess up and you're going to mix it. You're going to mix it in your message to the people. And those that are spending time the word of God, they're going to discern that and be like, nah, that's off. So you don't want to go too far off because you find yourself in a state of mind that It will have you barricading yourself in your house and, and looking at your neighbor funny. 
because you're being led by the spirit of the wisdom of this world and not by the spirit of God. All right, guys, that's all I have.